Hi there, boys and girls. Tonight for story time, we're going to read The Dinosaur Alphabet Book by Jerry Pelota, illustrated by Ralph Maciello. Each letter of the alphabet has a different dinosaur, and A is for Ankylosaurus. This was one of the armored dinosaurs. The spikes sticking out of its back and sides were sharp, and the club on the end of its tail could swing around and be used as a weapon. If you were a dinosaur, would you go near the Ankylosaurus? B is for Baryonyx. This fish-eating dinosaur had two large claws. Scientists could not figure out whether the claws were on its front feet or its back feet. If the claws were, had been on its back feet, they would have bumped into its front legs when it walked. Its flat head was shaped like the head of a crocodile. C is for Compsognathus. Not all dinosaurs were huge. The Compsognathus was no bigger than a chicken, and its feet were like those of many birds today. The Compsognathus had three toes pointing forward and one toe pointing backward. Looks like he's eating a little lizard. D is for Diplodocus. This was one of the longest dinosaurs that anyone has ever found. Most of its length comes from its long tail and its very long neck. It was a gentle plant eater. The Diplodocus could have used its long tail like a whip to defend itself against the meat-eating dinosaurs. E is for Edmontosaurus. The Edmontosaurus was found near Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. It had over 1,000 teeth in its strong jaws. If the Edmontosaurus were alive today, it would take a dentist about a week just to clean his teeth. Lots of tiny teeth. F is for Fabrosaurus. The Fabrosaurus was one of the dinosaurs that had hip bones, like the birds that live today. Scientists divided all dinosaurs into two groups. One group has hip bones like birds. The other group has hip bones like lizards. <clears throat> Does it kind of look like a bird? Kind of? <clears throat> no one knows why the dinosaurs became extinct. There are many theories. One theory is that a giant star, a supernova, exploded near Earth and the radiation slowly killed off all the dinosaurs. G. G is for Gallimimus. Scientists think that this dinosaur could run very fast on its long, skinny legs. It had a long, skinny neck, and its toothless jaw looked like a beak. The Gallimimus probably walked and ran like an ostrich. H is for Heterodontosaurus. This dinosaur only grew to be about as tall as a first or second grade student. Most dinosaurs had either sharp meat-eating teeth or flat plant-eating teeth. The Heterodontosaurus was very unusual. It had three different types of teeth, sharp front incisors, pointed canines, and flat grinding back teeth, just like you do. You have three different types of teeth just like the Heterodontosaurus. I is for the Iguanodon. This is the second dinosaur ever disco discovered. Someone noticed that it had teeth just like an iguana and decided to call it the Iguanodon. The Iguanodon's thumbs were sharp spikes that it probably used to tear up leaves and branches for food. J is for the Jaxartosaurus. The Jaxartosaurus was one of the duck-billed dinosaurs. Dinosaurs existed millions of years before ducks, so maybe it would be more appropriate to call ducks the dinosaur-billed birds. Because dinosaurs had beaks like this before ducks. <clears throat> K. K is for the Chronosaurus. The Chronosaurus was a giant ocean-going reptile, but it was not a dinosaur. Many people think that ocean-going reptiles were dinosaurs, but all dinosaurs had legs and walked on land. The Chronosaurus 
had flippers and swam in the ocean. So it's not actually a dinosaur. The K is also for the Kentrosaurus. The Kentrosaurus had both bony plates and spikes sticking out of its back. The Kentrosaurus was small. Its spikes could have kept the giant dinosaurs from stepping on it. The name Kentrosaurus means prickly lizard. See the spikes poking out so nobody steps on him? Another theory of why dinosaurs became extinct is that a giant meteor hit the earth and the dust from the collision blackened the skies. With no sunlight, the plants would have died, and then the plant eaters would have had nothing to eat. When the plant eaters died off, the meat eaters would have had nothing to eat, except maybe each other. L is for Lambiosaurus. The Lambiosaurus was a duck-billed dinosaur that had a funny-shaped head. Several other duck-billed dinosaurs had different shapes on their heads. Maybe the different shapes helped them tell each other apart. M is for Megalosaurus. This is it, the very first dinosaur ever discovered. At first, people thought that the bones of the Megalosaurus were from an ancient giant horse, or an ancient giant rhinoceros, or a hippopotamus. Eventually, people realized that these bones were from a giant reptile, a dinosaur. The very first dinosaur discovered, the Megalosaurus. N is for Notosaurus. This armored dinosaur's tiny brain was probably no bigger than a golf ball or a walnut. It's not that big. The Notosaurus did not, have a, did not have the long spikes that other armored dinosaurs usually had. The Notosaurus had plating on its back that looked like hundreds of little buttons. Should it have been called a Buttonosaurus? O. O is for Ovaraptor. This dinosaur has a name that means egg thief. The six foot tall Ovaraptor went around eating the eggs of other dinosaurs. It probably crushed the stolen eggs with its strong, toothless beak. Ovaraptor. Ovaraptors were not the only creatures stealing dinosaur eggs. Small mammals like rats also started eating the eggs of dinosaurs. This is another theory of why dinosaurs became extinct. P. P is for Parasolophus. This dinosaur had a hollow bone growing on top of its head. People used to think there was a snorkel that helped them to breathe underwater. Now people think that it may have been that it may have been to make loud, louder sounds or to smell things better. It may have also been a deflector to push aside branches and shrubs when the Parasolophus ran through the woods. duck-billed dinosaur. The funny head. Q. Q is for Questosaurus. The Questosaurus was a long-necked plant eater. Let's face it though, no one really knows what colors the dinosaurs were. Anyone can make a good guess. Perhaps some dinosaurs could change color the way some lizards do today. Perhaps, maybe the Questosaurus was red, with blue stripes and yellow spots. Who really knows what color the dinosaurs were? R. R is for Ramphornicus. Although this flying reptile lived during the time of the dinosaurs, lived during the time the dinosaurs lived on the earth, it was not a dinosaur. No dinosaurs were able to fly. This creature should probably not be in a dinosaur book. So let's find a dinosaur that begins with the letter R. Remember, dinosaurs had legs and walked on the land. So this would just be another prehistoric creature. R is for the Riojasaurus. This dinosaur walked on all four legs and was a plant eater. The Riojasaurus would have liked to eat broccoli, asparagus, lima beans, and spinach if there were any around millions of years ago. If you were a dinosaur, would you have eaten these vegetables? What about cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower? Remember, 
there's plant-eating dinosaurs and meat-eating dinosaurs. S is for Stegosaurus. No, not the Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus was one of the bone-headed dinosaurs. The bone on top of its skull was over six inches thick. It was, a perf it was perfect for smashing into other boneheads or crashing into its enemies. thick bone plate on its head for running into stuff. <clears throat> T. T is for Taurosaurus. This dinosaur had the largest skull of any known land animal. From the tip of its chin to the top of its collar, it measured nine feet long. Do you like horned dinosaurs? The Montana no, the Montana no, <laughs> Montana no ceratops had a single horn on its head. The Taurosaurus and the Triceratop each had three horns. The Pentaceratops had five horns, and the Styrosaurus was spectacular. It had horns all over its head. This is the Taurosaurus. It's a little bit bigger color than the Triceratops. You. Used for Ultrasaurus. This giant dinosaur has not yet been officially named. Only a few leg bones have been, have been found. However, however, it is so huge that it probably deserves the name Ultimate Dinosaur because it is the largest found so far. Unless, of course, you find one even bigger. That might be a fun job for you when you get older. You could be a paleontologist and study dinosaur fossils. V is for Velociraptor. The Velociraptor is one of a group of dinosaurs that had a huge sharp claw on the front of each rear leg. This ferocious dinosaur may have been able to jump up onto other dinosaurs and attack them with its sharp curved claws. The fast-running Velociraptors probably hunted together in large groups. W. W is Wurhosaurus. Not much is known about this dinosaur, and no one is really sure what it looked like. We do know it had rectangular shaped plates on its back. And no one really knows how many years a Wurhosaurus lived to be. Scientists say that some dinosaurs may have lived to be 200 years old. That is a lot of birthdays to celebrate. X. X is for the Shiosaurus. This dinosaur was discovered in China and therefore it has a Chinese name. The Shiosaurus did not grow any taller than a person. The Shiosaurus and other dinosaurs may or may not have walked around in snow. Another theory of why the dinosaurs became extinct is that an ice age came and made the earth too cold for the dinosaurs. If, that is if this is true, then why did crocodiles and alligators survive? No one knows. Why? Why is for the Yangchuanosaurus. The Yangchuanosaurus was a fierce, large, fierce, meat-eating dinosaur. Its huge claws, excuse me, huge jaws, full of long, saw-edged teeth, were good for stabbing and cutting. It was as tall as a three-story building. Wow three-story building. That's, that's as big as our water tower. Some of the biggest trees by your house. Imagine this dinosaur walking down your street. Don't worry, the last dinosaur lived about 65 million years ago. The last Yangchuanosaurus lived about 140 million years ago. That's a long time ago. Z. Z is for the Zephyrosaurus. Look, there's a Zephyrosaurus school or skull. All over the world, there are zillions of dinosaur bones waiting to be discovered. The Zephyrosaurus has already been identified, but there are many more dinosaurs, new dinosaurs, and fossils to find. Maybe some of them will end up with names that begin with letter Z. The end. The dinosaur 
alphabet book. I hope you enjoyed our story today. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Bye-bye.